Hey guys, what's going on? This is gonna be another giveaway entry video to a YouTuber called Jason Brett. He is one of those YouTube channels that I've recently stumbled upon through this whole uh, BlueTube uh, community. He has over 200 subscribers. Congratulations, Jason, on those uh, 200 subscribers or over 200. He, you're almost reaching like 250 uh, and you're probably gonna reach 300 in no time. I've stumbled upon his YouTube channel and he has a really, really cool video of him talking about the anime boom. I definitely recommend you go check that out. There'll be a link in the description below. So he put up a question for his giveaway entry, which was, what are your best and worst artworks in your uh, Blu-ray and DVD collection? Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of DVDs or Blu-rays. <laughs> I'm a very young uh, Blu-ray collector, but I really do enjoy uh, buying Blu-rays that I love or enjoy. And uh, I really like talking about them. So I want to take this opportunity to talk about my favorite uh, Blu-ray uh, artwork and uh, discuss them with you. Um, hopefully it's going to be really quick because they're like more than one. <laughs> so I'm just going to start with one uh, really quick that I've already talked about in my channel. Discussing about the artwork and what I love about it and all that. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first Blu-ray that I have that I really love the artwork is Over the Garden Wall. This is a Cartoon Network miniseries. I love animation and you're gonna hear me talk about it a lot on this channel. So Over the Garden Wall is a Cartoon Network miniseries starring Elia Wood, Christopher Lloyd. I talked about it before in my other video where I unboxed it and I was exploring the aspects of the artwork that I really admired. I really like the golden slip right there, the golden slip that's surrounding it. And I was actually really blown away when I opened up the artwork and I saw trees once I removed the disc. I saw the forest laden trees right there. That was really cool. And also um, the chapters on this side right here, as you can see. And the color scheme is really good. I really love the way that they incorporate the colors of gold and brown, dark brown, and getting that really autumn feel because it's a very autumn show, as I said. Very mysterious. I definitely recommend the show as well. So yeah, Over the Garden on Blu-ray. I really love the artwork, a really beautiful artwork. Next up, Inception. What I really love this about this is, uh, first of all, the lenticular on this. And also, if you can see right there, yeah. As you can see, you can see the buildings right there, and then you start fading away as you tilt back. Really cool Blu-ray right there where it shows off the uh, the maze right there. So that's really cool. And then you got the buildings right there on this disc as well. So that's really cool. I really love that. I really do. So uh, yeah, Inception overall, the lenticular and the Blu-rays and DVD artwork. Yeah, really cool, fantastic artwork right there. Another one of my best. Speaking of Inception, Paprika. So Jason, you love anime. You must have heard of this film, Paprika. This inspired Inception, apparently. I haven't seen it yet. I recently got it. This is the 2018 updated version of the artwork of Paprika, as you can see right here. As you can see right here, look at that CD right there. Really cool. And uh, you see um, the therapist herself. And uh, you got the artwork right there. You see all the images of the uh, really surreal images of, um, you know, well, basically what I saw in the trailer in Paprika. Um, next up, we're going to move on to more sci-fi. District 9, fantastic movie. I remember that this uh, poster really creeped the hell out of me as a kid. I really like that artwork on the disc. Really cool right there. And um, the reversal artwork as well. Really cool. Speaking of which, the 4K just came out. So yeah, District 9, really fantastic movie and uh, great artwork. Also another sci-fi film, Super 8, Steelbook. All right, as you can see right there, look at that shiny. <laughs> so you see the kids right there and you see the Super 8 camera right there and that's really cool. And then you have that lens right there that looks really mysterious. I'm not gonna be showing the reversal artwork because it's really not that special in my opinion. It just shows stills of the film, so. Uh, but yeah, really great Steelbook, uh, really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm gonna be putting that there. Also, I think a 4K of that film is also gonna be coming out soon, not sure. So here's my least favorite artwork. Um, it has to be Mad Max Fury Road. So this is a really great film, but the thing is, it, I don't feel like they did really much of effort when it came to the artwork of the Blu-ray. Because as you can see, you just have the two leads in the front, and that's it. You just have a, just, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much really. Um, yeah, they just slapped the two leads on there uh, when they could have done so much more on, on the uh, the deserts. They could have incorporated that environment on the front of the Blu-ray at least, uh, but they uh, didn't. This is the Blu-ray in my collection that has probably the worst artwork. Great movie, great action pack sequences, but uh, yeah, not really good artwork on the Blu-ray. So. so yeah, guys, that's my Blu-rays, which my favorite and least favorite artwork. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Jason, I really hope this was a worthy entry to the competition. I uh, hope I didn't bore you. <laughs>
yeah, congratulations on your 200 subscribers. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, subscribe to Jason. Check out his channel, subscribe to him. Uh, he does really great content. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, guys, have a great one.